Welcome to Top Car Channel. Audi is unashamed in marketing its baby SUV, the Q2 to a young, hip demographic. It's also unapologetic about the smallest SUV in its stable bastardising sales of the now aging, and slightly larger, Q3. It's fair to say some Q3 buyers might be swayed into Q2, said an Audi spokesperson at last week's launch of the new, range topping 2018 Audi Q2 2.0 TFSI Quattro before adding the company sells around 400 Q2 and Q3 per month in Australia. It's easy enough to understand why, too. On paper, there's little between the two, certainly not in this top-of-the-range specification. Australia's obsession with SUVs of all shapes and sizes shows no sign of abating. To the end of October this year, Australians have bought 384,469 new SUVs in 2017, representing a market share of 39% of total new car sales. And the small SUV subsegment occupied by the Q2 and Q3 represents nearly 25% of that market with sales year-to-date of 95,555 units. A compelling reason for the Q2's existence, then. Launched back in February, the Q2 range consisted of just two variants, the petrol-engined 1.4 TFSI front-wheel drive and the 2.0-liter turbo-diesel Sport Quattro. Now, the petrol-powered all-wheel drive enters the range to bolster the ranks of Audi's compact SUV. Audi Australia is calling this the range topper, although it rolls out of the showroom slightly cheaper than its 2.0-liter diesel-powered Quattro sibling, $48,500 against $49,100. At that price, it's also knocking on the door of its older, and just slightly larger, Q3 Dizigotic Twin, which is available with the same 2.0-liter TFSI Quattro drivetrain for $53,400, plus on-road costs.